Hello Pisces, thank you for joining me. This is your May 2017 astrology forecast with me, Anushka. Uh, this month we have the North Node moving into Leo, out of Virgo where it's been for about the last year and a half. Now it's moving into Leo, your sixth house of service and day-to-day -day routine and moving into Leo it's asking us all to connect with our heart centre more we've also got a Saturn trine Uranus which is really exciting this is positive change this is inspiration this is innovation that we can ground in reality so that's really lovely energy so we'll start with the third where Mercury goes direct thank god so Mercury's been going retrograde in your second house and maybe there have been unexpected expenses that have come up and maybe old debts to repay and just general bothersome dealings with money. It could be that there's been tension around money and you've been having issues with other people to do with money. This should start sorting itself out now and you should be able to clear up finances and really make some progress and move forward and, and hopefully organize things. Um, maybe you took that time to organize your finances. In that case, that's really great use of that energy. On the fourth, we've got your, um, we've got the sun, in your third house, and that's trining your ruling pla um trining, yes, no, sorry, we've got the sun in your third house, and that's sextiling Neptune in your in your um sign. And um obviously Neptune is your ruling planet. And so this could have you being quite um this you could be getting compliments from people, you could find yourself receiving really lovely compliments from people, and people might find you quite inspiring on this day. You might be feeling quite inspired, and as you're just going about doing your normal day-to-day -day activities, you could just have a sense of connectedness with the world and and seeing the beauty in a lot of things. So this could be a really lovely day for you. And that's on the fourth. On the ninth, we've got um the sun in that third house again, trining Pluto, which is in your 11th house. And this is of, of friends, associations, groups you belong to, as well as um, networking, social networks, that kind of thing. So you might be, you might be showing up in quite a powerful way um, amongst your peers, amongst the groups that you belong to. If you've got any presentation to do, then this would be a really powerful day to do it. You might have something that you want to communicate um, via via technology, via social media, and it might, might have quite a profound effect on people. At the same time, you might have, you might find that somebody has a, a profound effect on you. Maybe something you see on social media or a connection that you make. You might start talking to somebody, and um, they might give you some really interesting insights, and that makes you look at things quite differently. So that's that's an interesting energy there. On the tenth is when the North Node moves into your sixth house of Leo. So as I said, the North Node going into Leo, where it's been in Virgo, we've been doing a lot of work on ourselves. And you've probably been looking at your, um, if you've been working with the North Node, and sometimes we feel, we feel it anyway, you know, even when we're not. Um, we're, what was I saying? Okay, yeah, so you've probably been looking at your relationships, your one-to-one -one relationships, and being quite analytical about them, and and really breaking things down. Well, now it moves into a far more fun sign. So Leo was asking us to connect to our own creative self-expression, connect to our heart and our inner child, and that feeling of boundlessness and joy that we've all had, you know? And so we're being asked to connect to that and to express who we are and share it with the world. So for you, this is even bigger because this is in your sixth house of service. So what do you have, Pisces? What special gift do you have? What is it that you can offer the world that, that is something that comes from your heart? And can it be of service to others? This could be asking you to look at that. And this is actually is affected by that Saturn Uranus trine because the North Node in Leo makes a grand trine with Saturn in your 10th house of career, your reputation and what you do in the world and Uranus in your second house of resources, finances. So there's something big going on here in terms of the service you give, what you do, your career and finances. And there's an opportunity if you connect with who you truly are, what you have to offer. There's an opportunity for amazing change and transformation in this area. Also on the tent, we've got a full moon in your ninth house. And this full moon is in Scorpio, so it's quite a deep and healing full moon. And 
it could be ask, it could be saying to you, um, Pisces, where do you need to grow? It could be highlighting where you need to grow and highlighting the need for adventure and travel and for some sort of expansion. It could also be bringing, because full moons tend to be a culmination, so it could be bringing some sort of learning or studying um, to a close. It could be that you're wrapping something up and you're putting quite a lot of energy into wrapping something up around this full moon in terms of studying, maybe even legal matters. Um, but there could be, like I said, there, it could be that you're looking at how you can expand, how you can grow as a, as a person. And um, maybe there are some old fears to release and let go of in terms of that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Then, moving on to the 11th, we've got Mars in your fourth house of family and home. And this is actually squaring Neptune. Um, uh, where are we? On the 11th, yeah. And this is squaring Neptune in your science. So this to me speaks of not feeling seen somehow, maybe by, by family. Maybe there's some sort of misunderstanding that happens or you feel like someone's coming at you for something that is not really anything to do with you. Um, there could be some sort of a, a, a conflict um, to do with family and home here. And it could be hard to pinpoint exactly what's going on because Neptune it, um, it can make it hard to see things clearly. It could be that really it's much ado about nothing, but it could also mean that you, it could also be a situation in which you don't feel like you're being seen properly or you're, or someone's misunderstanding you somehow. So that's just something to be aware of on that day. Um, on the 12th, we've got Mars in, in that fourth house of yours. And that's um, trining, where are we? That's trining Jupiter in Libra. So this, this energy says to me, um, you know, that there's been some work going on with you and your growth has been in Jupiter being in Libra in your eighth house. You know, the growth has been in undoing any, um, any negative or inhibiting, inhibiting self, self belief patterns, um, undoing any, any kind of self destructive behavior and looking at looking at basically what what's been kind of going on on the deeper level within you and that's where a lot of your growth has been pisces and so on this day you might find that there's that you have a, a powerful insight or some powerful kind of transformation you might be feeling quite powerful you know as if like oh i get it i get why i always did that um or you know, I understand now why I, I felt that way. And it could be that this, this incident um, on the um, 11th with somebody with family, home, maybe not seeing you clearly, the misunderstanding, it could be that triggers you thinking about things further and getting a deeper understanding of, of who you are and maybe releasing something to do with um, family dynamics, family patterns that are unhealthy, that have had an, an unhealthy impact on you. So it could be some healing and some growth there. On the 16th, Mercury enters Taurus. It goes into your third house. So this has got you communicating a lot. And this has got you thinking a lot. This has got you um, probably out and about. You know, the sun is there as well. So very much communication, learning, um, those kinds of things that, you know, you might be wanting to kind of get out there you might be wanting to communicate quite or, or feeling inspired to create quite artistic and beautiful stuff you know because Taurus is, is quite an artistic sign and you are an, art, art, an artistic sign so poetry and and things of beauty might start to matter to you a bit more at this time um on the 19th is when we have that saturn trine uranus which isn't an aspect that we get very often we'll be having it again um on the 11th of november this year if you have any planets by the way in the fire signs leo aries or sagittarius then this they, they, they will be affected um so here saturn being in your 10th house of work what you do in the world and uranus being in your second house of resources and finances there is an opportunity for a shake-up here. Maybe you're going to be inspired to try something new and innovative and something that really speaks to the heart of who you are. Like I said, that North Node is in Leo, making a grand fire trine between these three houses. So what is it that, what can you offer the world? What is it that you do 
What is it that you do in, in such a way that only you can do? You might have some sort of like crazy idea that just happens to work and can actually be financially beneficial to you. So this is innovative energy. This is, this is blending the old with the new. You know, Saturn is structure. It's the old guard. It's the way of doing things that's been tried and tested. And Uranus is the eccentric, it's the innovative, it's, it's, it's revolutionary. And these two meeting together is great because it allows us to reinvent something. So who knows, maybe you'll reinvent the wheel. <laughs> but it allows us to reinvent something and to, and to bring about really interesting and innovative change. And it brings liberation because I feel like you've been going through a lot in terms of what you do in the world and rethinking this and questioning it and also looking at your finances maybe this is felt a bit chaotic well now there's opportunity for breakthroughs and there's opportunity for you to transition into really um really expressing your soul's purpose you know that leo north node expressing the heart the soul expressing your own unique creativity, giving that it may not even be in a creative way, you know. Um, when I say creativity, I don't necessarily mean painting, singing, that kind of thing. Creativity can be starting a business. Creativity can be, it can be anything, you know. So, and so this might see you kind of just bringing forth your creativity um, and and your, and bringing yourself forward in such a way and presenting it to the world in a way that ends up really benefiting you financially. So that's really fantastic energy. Um, and it's what you can do. You think about what you can do that could be of service and that you might really love doing and that the world needs, you know, because like I said, Leo's there, uh, the North Node is there in your sixth house of service. So I really like that energy for you, Pisces. On the 20th is when the sun then moves into Gemini, into your fourth house of home and family. Maybe that slight upset that happened has now got you focusing more on home, on family, your attention's there. Five days later, there's a new moon in this area of your life. So there's an opportunity for a fresh start here. Um, there's an opportunity to maybe heal some things, mend some things, um, start afresh in terms of home and family dynamics. Maybe, maybe you might be moving, maybe your home environment somehow is changing. Um, but there's an opportunity here for a bit of a, a fresh start after any tension that might have happened in the week or two before. Um, on the 25th, oh sorry, that was the 25th. This is also um, a good time as well if you want to if you want to do a bit of spring cleaning, you know, here in the Northern Hemisphere it is spring, so it's a really great time to do some spring cleaning and you might find that that helps to clear your head and kind of declutter your emotions a bit as well because sometimes when we do that it just gives us a, a renewed feeling. On the 31st, and we've got Mercury in your third house and that's trining Pluto in your 11th house. So once again, this is communication with groups of people, um, communication via social media, via the internet. Um, and you might be, the, this month, you might have some real power in your words. You might be communicating some quite um, profound things. You might be making presentations, or you could be aligning yourself with people who have a profound effect on the way that you think and, and are transforming the way that you think and the way that you you maybe communicate even, you know? Um, and you could be feeling drawn to quite interesting, powerful people. So that's something that could come up then on the, on the 31st. But all in all, this is a really lovely month, Pisces, and I feel like you've been doing so much work, you know? I feel like you've been doing a lot of internal work and it's, it's, it's about time, isn't it, that things started to really shift for you in terms of career and finances, you know, for those of you who are not, who haven't been having the kind of success that you want in that area, I think this is fantastic energy because you have an opportunity now really to make some amazing progress and to start reaping some, some rewards and seeing, seeing some positivity coming back now. Um, so I really like this month for you. Thank you so much for watching Pisces. I will see you again next month. And if you want to join me in the meantime, I'll be making a new moon and full moon videos for this month of May. But until then, take care and have a wonderful month.